Welcome to this new how-to. Okay, okay, it's a little bit late, but I've got so many questions on how to get those cool things which are already part of the aircraft and avionics update number two beta version that I decided to create a video about it uh, to answer the question quickly. So I don't have to, I would say, provide a comment, but easily can refer to this video. So the first thing you will need to do is you need to install an app, right? So you need to go to the store and that can be either on the PC, which I'm currently doing right, but you can do the same thing on the Xbox. And you will need to search for something. And you need to search for the Xbox Insider app. Because the Xbox Insider app will give you eventually access to all the beta stuff, right? As you can see, I already installed it. So this is the one which you need, Xbox Insider Hub. And then once installed, you can open it, of course. Uh, once you load it, you need to authenticate and then it will provide you, let's say, information back about the available beta programs uh, and some other information. There also, also are some activities which you can participate in. Uh, in some case, you can, uh, let's say, join other things. And this, okay, information, for example, about uh, joining or leaving the beta. But as I already joined the beta, right, I can't show you how to join it, but I can quickly show you how which steps you need to take if you are not participating yet so the first thing you need to do is go to the previews inside the previews you will find all kind of betas right uh, which are available and in this case you will also see the microsoft flight simulator beta update if you select that one and you will see it in your case probably under the available button you can click on it and then it will load the i would say information there it says, okay, the insider program, right? It says, okay, hey, the aircraft Navy Linux update is now, two is now available. Uh, and that you must own, of course, the updates, etc. Uh, if you click on the uh, manage button, which I'm currently gonna do, uh, I will can leave the program. But in your case, it will likely be that this option is called join, right? So you can always leave the program, as you can see here. But I would kind of say, be careful with that. And that's one thing I want to recommend you is make sure that you move the community folder outside of the normal community folder and also do that for the other builds, right? So that's what I also have done. So if I look at my drive, right, and go to my uh, C drive, what I did is I created uh, a folder which is called MSFS and I moved both, I would say, the community as well as the official content to there. And the reason I did that is because if you're participating in the beta, it sometimes triggers a full reinstall, right? It happened in the past. The last few, uh, I'd say, tests didn't happen, but in some cases it happens. So if that happens, then it also would normally require you to get all the, all the content, right? Which also means all the official content. And that's a lot in most cases because you need to reinstall all the world updates, etc. And by doing it like this, and uh, you can look at the video, which is currently pointed on the top, how to do that. You at least prevent that you need to reinstall everything. So once you're there, right, uh, make sure that you join the program and then everything's happy. Now... The other thing what you need to do is as soon as you did that, you need to restart either your Xbox or the PC because likely it won't be offered initially. Once that's done, simply go to the store and then check for updates, right? So you can uh, go here and then, uh, sorry, it was here. I uh, go to the library, right? Which is on the, on the right side on the PC version and then check for updates. And then you will see it being popping up here. And uh, then I would say it will automatically install it and then you can start Flight Simulator. Once you start Flight Simulator, it will likely tell you that you need to install some other updates. So make sure that you do that because that's, I would say, strongly recommended. And it will become kind of mandatory because you can't skip it. Then of course, the question is, okay, where can you all follow all those nice things? Well, if you go to forums.flightsimulator.com, there's always a specific beta section, right? So in this case, if I click on this one, 
It will contain the beta uh, news. It will contain the discussions about specific aircrafts, but also the surveys, because it's critical that you provide sur information back about the surveys, because that's being used to say to make adjustments, but also to uh, create fixes uh, as long as they release builds. Right at one point they will freeze the build. That's how normally uh, software development also uh, works. And I'd say then they are say searching for our a release candidate right a version which they're going to release to the wider public uh, and then i would say sometimes they decide not to fix specific things could be right the good thing about the beta news is that it contains all the release notes right so if you click on this release note so let's go to the uh, latest one uh, or the almost the latest one of these is one is from seven days ago you can see all the fixes which are included or all the new functionality being added so that's how you can keep track if you are participating again make sure that you also provide feedback right using either the i would say uh, surveys or provide beta uh, feedback using these options over here right so you can either i would say add more information to already existing topics but you can also say okay hey let me create a new topic because i can't find the specific one and then you can hit the new topic button over here so in this video, we quickly looked at how you can install or participate in the beta, right? In this case, specifically the aircraft and avionics update number two. But this method is applicable to all the betas, uh, which are going to be released in the future also for Flight Simulator 2020. And maybe also for 2024, I don't know. Here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you later.